what would happen if every single special in Splatoon 3 became broken. If you've wanted this too, you've come to the right place because I'm going to be ruining every special in the game by making them absolutely busted. Keep in mind, this video is for fun and fun only. It's not a serious rework of the specials in the game. And feel free to drop your ideas down in the comments below. But with that said, let's start off with our first special, Trizuka. With Trizuka, I really wanted to emphasize the prefix in the special's name, being Tri. Three shots in total is nice, but in order to make this special truly busted, how about we add even more? Introducing the Trizuka squared, that fires three separate Zuka shots at once, three separate times, for a total of nine shots. Yeah, I told you this wasn't a serious rework. The middle shot would stay as it is, and the other two would branch out to the left and right. Think of it like a spray shooter. This would make the special insanely difficult to avoid, and very easy to hit random splats with. However, this this change is far from the craziest idea. This one is fairly simple. I see Bubbler as a combination between Splash Wall and Beacon, having the properties of both combined into one. However, there's one more utility sub that I think could make the Bubbler absolutely insane. That's right, I'm talking about Sprinkler! Okay, hear me out. I decided to take inspiration from the Sprinkler of Doom in Splatfest. Now, the top of the bubble has a massive sprinkler on top of it, painting everywhere around it, allowing you to take space way easier. It would have around double the range equivalent of a normal sprinkler. And as a bonus, you can now throw the bubble similar to a tactic cooler. And special power-up could increase the painting range of the sprinkler too. My idea for Zipcaster is rapidly approaching dumb territory. Zipcaster is a pretty simply designed special in terms of its functionality, so coming up with a new trait for it was really hard. So instead, I decided to make the special just flat out game breaking. Now, the arm has infinite range. If you wanted to get from one side of Hammerhead Bridge to the other, you can now do that in seconds. Don't worry too much about the recall. I made sure to remove that too. This would make the special insanely busted, especially on these maps, and it would be fun, but not balanced in the slightest. It was difficult to come up with something new for missiles too, but I ended up giving it a new function that could seriously help out your fellow teammates. Now, the missiles can hit up to 8 targets, 3 of which being your own teammates. If you fire the missiles at your comrades, even just one missile resets their health back to 100 HP. HP. Honestly, I'm feeling quite sick just thinking about it. There's not too much else to say here though, on to the next special. During my Splatoon 2 days, I always found it weird that Ink Storm was just a rain cloud. I mean, if it was really just raining ink, wouldn't it be called Ink Rain? So I decided to change that. Now, like a true storm, I decided to add thunder. Occasionally, massive bolts of lightning will be released from the cloud, doing massive chip and AoE damage, like a way smaller wave breaker. This would make being in the special way more punishing, but mainly, it'd just look really cool. The Booyah Bomb is pretty clearly based on the Spirit Bomb from Dragon Ball. In that series, Goku gets power from all of the key energy of his comrades. That idea isn't portrayed too well in Splatoon, so I decided to enhance it. For every one Booyah that a teammate does, the total radius of the bomb is increased. This adds up fast, as I'm not limiting the amount of Booyahs that somebody can do before it caps. So, technically speaking, the Booyah Bomb could cover two entire Splat Zones, if your fellow teammates are good enough at mashing. Will it cause arthritis? Yes. Do I care? Yes, but it would be funny to have a Booyah Bomb the size of the entire stage. As we all know from our favorite science, physics, complex sound waves move from a high frequency to a low frequency, as you can see in these graphs. So, I wanted to replicate this in Splatoon. Each wave moves in waves moving up and down the y-axis. This means that you'll have to either jump or duck under the waves depending on your timing. And you have every reason to worry because if you miscalculate, you'll get one-shotted. And I know this removes the location effect, but if you'd prefer to know where someone is as opposed to removing them from play entirely, I'd call you a stalker. For this one, I decided to take inspiration from some characters in Smash Ultimate, specifically Kirby, King DDD, and King K. Rule. All three of these characters have a move where they can vacuum up another player and shoot them out, dealing damage to those who unfortunately come into contact with them. I wanted to translate this into a more team-oriented setting, where if your teammate agrees, you can suck them into your vacuum and shoot them wherever you please. Not only would this double the radius of your shot, but it would also allow you to shoot your comrades into places they couldn't reach normally. Or you could just shoot them off the map, that works too. Killer Whale is another case where its simple design makes it insanely difficult to expand on it. So, I just decided to increase its size. I'm really, really sorry if you like this special, but I just could not find a way to make it broken in a fun or cohesive manner, and believe me, I tried. 
I urge you to comment down below your ideas for this special, because honestly, I just couldn't think of anything for this one. And in addition to that, I'm going to have to split this video into two parts. It would really be quite long for my channel standards otherwise, and since life is really busy and stressful for me at the moment, I needed to cut it short now for the sake of giving you guys a video to watch. I promise I'm not quitting or hate what I'm doing or anything like that, I just need some time to catch up and keep up with all the changes happening right now. If you want to, you can try to predict what I do to rework the rest of the specials in the game in the comments, as I'm curious to hear what you guys think I'll do. And if the idea you come up with is good enough, I'll even include it in part 2 of the video. I hate ending videos like this on a low note though, so just know that this video was extremely fun to make, and the next video I have planned is going to be incredible. Make sure to subscribe for that and for part 2 as well. But aside from that, make sure to take care and have an amazing rest of your day. Stay safe everyone.